Look at this sign. I assume they think that men are the only ones that do flagger work. So a lot of the old timers on this video, people have been on here for quite a while following my videos, though I don't know quite why. You guys know that I've talked a lot about methane, CO2 count and the importance of it and how it causes global heating, which then has all kinds of uh, repercussions from just that alone. And the thing is that humans and animals alike have seen extinctions in the past. Humans went extinct here in North America not too long ago. So did several other big animals here in the U.S. where the plains used to look much like Africa's plains. Almost exactly, just a little bit different on the uh, big animals. But they all seem to have disappeared along with humans at what's called the black mat. Now I have some videos down below. I'll try and put as many on as I can. But I'll n number them in the uh, number you should watch them for importance in case you get bored of watching it and you so at least you see the important ones the very important ones <laughs> so the the point is that humans are are seeing a new extinction period extinctions take quite a while thousands of years to happen but they can also happen just very quickly like a blink of an eye but the one that's happening now isn't going to be like that it's going to come slower so that people are going to have to suffer at the end a lot of suffering a lot of excess heat and a lot of hunger a lot of no water or too much water but what's so surprising is the head the top guy of the world the president that counts the most the u.s president doesn't even know anything about the gas CO2. In fact, he doesn't even believe in climate change at all. Or if there is any, it's not caused by humans. How, how can you think that? But these videos show what happens when CO2 and methane are released all at once. And I tell you, it's caused by global climate change, which is happening right now at a very fast pace. But even though it's at a fast pace, humans are still going to be around for quite a while longer, unless they uh, kill each other off with their wars. But humanity is really getting strange, you know that? <laughs> I tell you. It's as if the way we fix things is we just deny their existence. But this particular climate change issue is death to so many humans in such a horrible way. This video, one, the, the top video will show that and show what is is and not what theory is. This is what actual history shows us what happened when these kind of catastrophes happen on the planet Earth. But you also have to throw in the nuclear power plants, almost 1,000 of them, of one sort or another between research laboratories and nuclear waste is waiting to happen all over the planet. And when humans go away, that stuff goes everywhere. So that's a whole nother thing and how long that will take to clean up on its own, become uh, uh, the harmful radiation is uh, neutralized just by time alone. So right now I have no doubt that the planet Earth is headed towards another extinction. How bad and how big? I don't think it's gonna be a small one. So if that isn't enough to worry about, humans are in such trouble, well there's this one too. The world is about to lose 47% of their jobs in the next five, well they're actually saying two to five years away. Humanity will no longer work. And you might think that's a good thing, which it might be, but we don't have any any kind of plans for if it, uh, for, for what we're supposed to do, how we're supposed to make a living. Poor old camera isn't keeping up with me. It's starting to fade out on us. But automation will be taking several jobs. The first one will be administrative and paperwork positions of all kinds. Those are probably going to be the first ones to go. Of course, manufacturing, they're pretty much under the gun for automation right now. They're the, they're the leaders of it so if you're in if your job has to do with manufacturing <laughs> you also will be looking for a new way of making a living but not only that but health care will become pretty much automated because most of it right now has to do with paper and profit making there will still be nurses and doctors but a lot of the paperwork will become automated and that's a lot of what healthcare is about at least here in the u.s and then farming 
is going to be the next big thing. So what we're going to be doing is eliminating all the middle, a large part of the middle class work and the, of course, low paid jobs will all be disappeared. That means in the very near future, if you do not have a skill set of some kind of specialty, then you're in trouble. So humans are in a lot of trouble. There's a lot to fe deal with. But you know something? There's a lot of humans out there, and we're very intelligent. We could easily fix every problem that we face right now. But because of poor choices in leadership and those people putting in even worse people, humans aren't going to make it. The U.S. is about to go into a crash, a financial crash. It's not too far off now. The Trump bots used to talk about the financial crash all the time, but the minute he got into office, that was all gone. It disappeared to them, but it didn't, did it? And even as we speak, the orange man here in the U.S. has put Alex Jones, yes, the, the right-wing fake news site in the pool of journalists in the White House. He can go in and visit it any time. I hate to sound so pessimistic, but humans haven't got a chance. The problems that we face are very easy to fix, but yet for humans, they're extremely difficult when money's involved. To me, it has to do with everything to do with making money. Our barter system is so broken, and it, it, it goes all the way down to the banks, who now have been almost completely deregulated. If you have money in the banks, oh well, that's your fault. You've been warned several times to get your money out of the bank. Now couldn't be a better time. Okay, with that, I would love to know your opinions. And I love your ups and downs and your new subscribers, even though I really haven't gotten any for months now because YouTube keeps deleting every new one I get. And I suspect they don't want me to be on YouTube. I'm both here on YouTube and Vidme, and I'll put uh, a link to over to Vidme. So you can check out my videos there. So, until next time.